Today's topic is abdominal pain. Abdominal pain refers to discomfort that is felt in the space between the chest and groin. The abdomen houses many vital organs, including the stomach, liver, kidneys, pancreas, small and large bowel, appendix, gallbladder, spleen, and reproductive organs. It also contains muscles and some major blood vessels. Discomfort in any organ or part of the abdomen can lead to pain that radiates throughout the entire area. Almost everyone suffers from abdominal pain at some time. Most cases of abdominal pain are mild and usually not serious. Abdominal pain is also called stomach ache or tummy pain. How severe or bad the pain is doesn't always tell on the seriousness of the problem causing the pain. For example, very bad pain may be felt due to gas or stomach cramps resulting from viral gastroenteritis, while life-threatening conditions such as colon cancer or early cases of appendicitis may be accompanied by mild pain or no pain at all. Causes. Various factors can lead to abdominal pain. Irritable bowel syndrome. Constipation. Food intolerances. Food poisoning. Stomach flu. Appendicitis. Cancer of the stomach, colon, and other organs. Kidney stones. Ulcers. Acid reflux. Abdominal aortic aneurysm. Urinary tract infection. Indigestion premenstrual syndrome, gallstones, ruptured ovarian cyst, pelvic inflammatory disease, ectopic pregnancy, cardiac conditions such as congestive heart failure, a hiatal hernia, trauma to the stomach, bowel, spleen, liver, or kidney. Abdominal pain may arise from serious or less serious medical condition. The key is to know when you need to get medical care right away. Symptoms. The major symptom of the condition is pain. When the pain occurs, it can be sharp, dull, cramp-like, burning, stabbing, or gnawing, be accompanied by vomiting, radiate to other parts of the body, be ongoing, episodic, or may be constant accompanied by restlessness that you start to pace around to find just the right position, be generalized or localized. Seek medical care if the pain is related to trauma, such as accident or injury. There is a pain in the chest, neck, or shoulder. You have unexplained weight loss. It is accompanied by a stool that is black or bloody. You vomit blood. It is accompanied by a high fever over 102 degrees Fahrenheit. There is persistent nausea or vomiting. The abdomen is swollen and tender. The pain is accompanied by dizziness and a shortness of breath. There is unusual vaginal discharge. The pain is accompanied by a rash. The pain is accompanied by loose, watery stool. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor may review your medical and family history. The doctor may discuss with you and ask on any previous issues or surgical procedures drug and food allergies, any health-related behavior such as drug use, alcohol consumption, sexual activity, any family history of diseases, and clarify your current medication regimen. A physical exam may be carried out to identify physical signs to clarify the diagnosis. Physical exam such as a thorough abdominal exam, lung exam, and a cardiovascular exam. Other tests may include blood tests, urinalysis, imaging tests such as chest and abdominal x-rays, abdominal ultrasound, CT scan of the abdomen, endoscopy. Treatments. Treatment options depend on the cause of the abdominal pain. Pain reliever will help to ease the pain. Fluid is given intravenously to correct fluid loss and rest your bowel. Medicine. Fasting may be required until the cause of the pain is known. Home treatment that may help with pain includes drinking plenty of fluids such as water, placing a hot water bottle over the abdomen, reducing the intake of coffee, tea, and alcohol, getting plenty of rest, exercising regularly, eating more meals frequently. 
thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.